Hello everyone, Dylan here with a LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the Black Ace TIE Interceptor from Star Wars Resistance, of course. Okay, so, on the front of the box here, see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and the uh, border that we've been seeing for quite a long time, and picture of the set flying above an ocean with the Colossus in the background, Disney logo, all the minifigs included, and then recommended ages is 8 and up, set number 75242, has 396 pieces, and flip to the back to see it in a resting position, also probably on the Colossus or something, with a couple of TIE interceptors in the background or something. And onto the instruction booklet, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on a survey, all the pieces that come with the set. Add for the 20th anniversary set, of course. Add for the action battle sets. And then meeting figure list. And add for Lego Life. And the last building steps, of course. First of which, for the main figs, is uh, Griff Holloran. Yeah. Yeah, let's see the, the helmet piece, which is kind of that of any other TIE fighter pilot, but of course he had it marked somewhat like that. But besides that, printing interesting and good. But you can also swap it out with a regular hair piece, of course. And as you see, lack of leg printing, but besides that, torso print and face prints all quite good. And as you see, holding small pistol there, of course, and this back torso print, but no double side face, of course, but back torso print also good. And next of which is Poe Dameron. Yeah, Poe Dameron. Who is quite a bit different? Whose torso print, which kind of a bit different than in like some most The Force Awakens and all, where it's a white torso piece rather than like uh, orange or whatever. And the leg print, which done good, but also slight different than other versions. And as for the back of which, also quite unique and all. But the face print and hair piece, same as it's been since. Uh, Force Awakens 2015-16, of course. And last but not least is BB-8, who of which the two pieces, all of which same as it's been since the Force Awakens, of course. So nothing to look at. And now on to the Black Ace Tight Interceptor itself. So, of which quite a unique build to it, although of which not at all resembling a TIE Interceptor, even though Major Von Rex TIE Fighter, which does resemble that, but more on that in a different video. So, like for the front part, which has both of those corner bracket pieces, and of course those unique cornering kind of pieces, which put to some great use to it. And also, same thing, but also some good greebling to it, and also the roller skate pieces still also used for greebling, and also some plates that have uh, stickers on them, but there's very few stickers in this set, which is good. And the wings on the sides of which also kind of the same, but also using some of those corner kind of pieces, and also those uh, triangular plates. Very nice and all. And for the sides, which, as you see, has interesting little assembly covering this tan area, of course, with a couple of rods sticking out, and, of course, also used as another uh, blaster, of course. But on the sides are, of course, the spring-loaded launchers, which that fire like so, and 
Also, a couple little adjusted flaps down there, of course. And as for them on the back, is have one of them like little barrel pieces acting as so this is like another engine, and of course, another one of that. But however, it can like take that off, and you can store an extra missile in there. But what I kind of do is store Griff's uh, hairpiece in it when he has his helmet piece on, of course. What else? Uh, some good snot in here, of course. Like with the jacket slopes there, of course. And also, from the top of which, some curved slopes there, and another one. Some more of those, of course. And unfortunately, a pair of stickers as well as, well as for that. But the front cockpit piece, of which, which is one of the only printed pieces in this set. And it's kind of pretty much the same as from the uh, 2018 TIE Fire, of course. You can flip that down and turn, pull that up, kind of like in other TIE Fire sets. And of course, a couple of uh, sticker control, or I mean printed control panels on there. And enough space to fit your Griff minifig into a course. And then that ends off for the races, of course. And but also good stabilization in fact and make it good for swooshing around, of course. And so now on to it the final verdict on this one. So overall, this I think a Quite cool, unique ship, and also one from uh, the uh, show Resistance, of course. Although, if you watch Resistance, then you'd probably know there's like a whole bunch, like a group of different uh, racer uh, fighters, of course. So, I think which could warrant as sets, obviously. But maybe they haven't considered that or whatever. But as for the price per piece, of which horrible, 300 some pieces for $50, which as some people which said that it's that this and Major Von Rex TIE Fighter, two for resistance, of which too much overpriced, or $20 more than what they should be, because I think $3 is kind of more worth it for this. So LEGO, please stop overpricing stuff. And well... But I'm sure that by this, by the time of this video, they are. Pro this is probably going to be on sale or whatever. And well, the minifig selection. I think they could have included a Niku or anything, or even Tam or whatever. But the build of which quite good and all. And if so, if you're looking to get this set then I'd say, or if they still sell it where you live, then definitely get pick it up. If you see it on sale, also go pick it up, of course. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.